Well, morning folks. Uh, as you can see, we are here in the Botanic Gardens and a uh, beautiful sunshine day. And I thought I would come here, basically uh, one of my favorite places, if not my favorite place. And uh, we're at Job 42. And yesterday we looked at who is God. And today we look at who am I? Then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be thwarted. You asked, who is this that obscures my plans without knowledge? Surely I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. You said, listen now and I will speak, I will question you, and you shall answer me. My ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. Therefore I despise myself in sackcloth and ashes. Well, it is utterly wonderful that we think about this, because identity is such a key issue when we think about things. And we really struggle with this whole concept of identity. Who am I? Do we identify ourselves by our nationality? Identify ourselves by our sex? Do we identify ourselves by sexuality? Do, you know, this is me. I am what I am. I have to be me. But what is me? Now, Job does something here that is utterly astounding. He says, I despise. And the, the myself is not in the Hebrew, but the, that's it. I despise myself and repent in sackcloth and ashes. How does that sound great? You know, to be humbled in that way. None of us like being humbled, or, or at least we don't like being humiliated. And so, but to be humbled is a great thing. You're saying, this is the, the first lesson is this, I am small compared with God. I think God loves us enough to humble us, not to leave us to carry on in our arrogance. Um, arrogance and human pride is such a dreadful thing. And then the second thing we learn is simply this, I matter to God. We can think too highly of ourselves, but we can also have a false kind of humility or a, a deprecation. So uh, I often quote Bertrand Russell saying, who are you? You're just a blob of carbon floating from one meaningless existence to another. And yes, we have to understand that in today's world, Although we, have, we are told in our minds to think very highly of ourselves, in reality we're given no reason to. In fact, we don't matter. Whereas the book of Ecclesiastes, the Psalms, the whole of the Bible, Jesus tells us that we matter because we're made in the image of God. And we matter, uh, if you are a Christian, if your identity is in Christ, then you matter because of Christ. He said, I'm dust and ashes. I repent and dust and ashes. I think real humility helps us to understand who we really are and helps us to rejoice because we see that though we are weak, though we are sinful, we see how God values us, uh, not because we deserve to be valued, but because of what Jesus has done for us. Who am I? I don't know much. I don't have much knowledge. There are things too wonderful for me to know. I despise myself and yet I repent in sackcloth and ashes and yet, and therefore because of that, I can rejo rejoice. I like the quote from Abraham Lincoln. I've been driven by my knees many times by the knowledge or the conviction that there was nowhere else to go. That's an astonishing thing. I have been driven to my knees many times by the conviction that there was nowhere else to go. If you're in desperate straits, you have a great God to turn to. If you're turning to yourself, if you're believing in yourself, if you're looking to yourself, you've got nowhere to go. You've got nowhere to go. You're not enough. But if you realize who you are, then paradoxically, as you humble yourself, you are exalted and lifted up. Well, God bless you on this beautiful day and uh, see you for songs on Sunday and then hopefully see you on Monday as we continue Coffee with Job uh, into this, the last bit of this last chapter. See you then. Bye. I'll leave you with this view.